Sri Lanka is battling its worst financial crisis since independence in 1948 as decades of economic mismanagement and recent policy errors coupled with a hit from COVID-19 to tourism and remittances, drying up foreign reserves to record lows. And after several groups, it was the college students who took to the streets this week in capital Colombo as they demanded the resignation of the government of President Gotabaya Rajapaksa. Hundreds of university students, trade unionists and artists marched through the streets of Sri Lanka's capital, Colombo, demanding the resignation of the government of President Gotabaya Rajapaksa. Many protesters accuse Rajapaksa and his influential family of mishandling the economy. The worsening situation of Sri Lanka has led people angered by long queues, often overnight, for fuel faced off with security forces over the weekend. The the ongoing economic situation of Sri Lanka has been exhausting drivers who have been waiting for hours for petrol. Sri Lanka is scrambling to find foreign exchange to pay for desperately needed fuel imports and its existing stock of petrol and diesel is projected to run out in a matter of days. The island nation also ordered public sector employees to work from home for two weeks due to the fuel shortage. An international monetary fund team began bailout talks in Sri Lanka on Monday as the country's cabinet cleared a constitutional amendment to dilute presidential powers that could assuage protesters amid rising tensions. A nine-member IMF team, which arrived in the commercial capital Colombo recently, held talks with Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe on how to structure what will be Sri Lanka's 17th loan program with the global lender. The United Nations has outlined a plan to raise $47 million to provide assistance to 1.7 million Sri Lankans worst hit by the crisis over the next four months.